Hey, check this out. I've got a question for you. I'm thinking of a three digit number. When this is divided by nine, the remainder is three. When this is divided by two, the remainder is one. When it's divided by five, the remainder is four. What is my... Oh, that's so easy. You must have Googled it. No. Show me how you worked it out. Wait. Okay. Uh, let's see. Remember, we're going to be using inverse. Right? And the time table, times table that we're going to be using is 9 times table, 2 times table, and 5 times table. So, out of these three, which one is the easiest? Obviously, we know it's the 5 times table because it's only going to finish end either 0 or 5 right okay now uh, let's go to the easiest part which says 1 is divided by 5 the remainder is 4 remember say so when you divide by 5 the remainder is 4 how about if you add these two numbers what are we going to get 5 plus 4 equals 9 Mm -hmm. So if I say, obviously you'll get the answer just that. To get that, 9 divided by 5, your answer is 1, remainder 4. So just by using this, we got the right answer. So how about if you go to the second one, which says, when you divide by 2, the remainder will be one with that nine if i say nine divided by two what are we going to get here four remainder one so also the second part it works for us but obviously i know what you're going to say that's a one digit number and i'm asking you for a three digit number yes i know i know nine is just one digit number and you've been asked to get three digit number so because of when I divide that number by 2, or for example, when I divide 9, divide by 2, the remainder is 1. When I divide 9, divide by 5, the remainder is 4. Because of 9, it works both of these parts or situations. I want my number 9 to go into the one-digit number. So in order for us to get a three-digit number, let's go to the first bit, which is the... 9 times table so now let's go back to the the first part which is when you divide by 9 the remainder will be 3 so we're dealing 9 times table and what you're going to look for is 3 digit number so i want you to tell me a 9 times table will give you a 3 digit number 12 times 9 which is 108. Oh, don't forget that what we're dealing here, as we said at the beginning, we work in inverse. When you divide by 9, the remainder will be 3. Whatever I got, I need to add 3. The 9 times table will give me 3 digit number. When I add 3, my 1 digit has to be 9. One digit number has to be nine. Okay, so twelve times nine is one hundred and eight. Okay, the answer plus three is one hundred what? One hundred and eleven. Because we are taking step by step easily. We're gonna look. Okay, let's go for the next one. Twelve times no thirteen, 13. times nine, which is one hundred and seventeen. If I add 117 plus 3, it's all 120. Oh, it's not working. Uh, let me see. Hmm. 14 times 9 is what? 126. 126. Let me add 3. Your answer is going to be what? 129. Hmm. Let me see if that's going to work. If I go here, 129, it should work. 129, okay? Let's test. 
the moment of truth. Let's test this number, okay? If they're gonna work for us, okay? Let's say 129 divided by nine. Okay, nine goes to one, zero, nine goes to 12 as well, one. And that's one, nine, three, drop down, 39. How much does nine goes to 39? Four. Oh, okay. Four times nine, thirty-six. Oh, remainder what? Three. Yeah, the first one it works for us. One hundred and twenty-nine divided by nine. Remainder is three. Let's go to the second one. It is one hundred and twenty-nine divided by two. Go to zero. How many times go two goes to twelve? Six. Drop that one. Two goes to nine. How many times? Four. Four times that's eight. One. Hey, it's working. Let's check the third one. One hundred twenty-nine divided by five. One zero. Two is that gonna be? Two. Two times five is ten. The two, drop the nine, 29. How much times five goes to 29? Five. Five, five times five equals 25. Where's the remainder? Four. So we got right. Aha. Our first number, the three digit number that we're looking for is 129. Tra, tra, tra. Wow, that's amazing. But what about the other numbers that you showed me? You showed me at least nine more. Hey, do we remember how we get 129? It was 14 times 9. It was 126. And we add the result plus 3. That's how we get end up that number. So have a look here. We got 14. If you use exactly the same, but just if you increase that number by 10, it's going to work. 24 times 9. Wherever you get the result, plus 3. 34 times 9. Wherever your result you got, plus 3. It's still is going to work. You're going to end up whatever that comes. Your digits number is going to be 1. Sorry, your 1s is going to be 9. Regardless what other 10s. And the hundreds. What about 30, 44 times 9 plus 3? Still gonna work. 54. This is what I was getting. It's not magic. If you take it easy, step by step, you will get it. Enjoy the rest of the day.